Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Iggy's Bodybuilding Camp. And yes, I'm in a hotel room. I've traveled up north for work. Um, I'm staying in the hotel in the meantime, and I thought, perfect opportunity to shoot a video while I've got some good lighting and a bit of spare time. Purpose of today's video. I wanted to discuss the difference between brown and white carbs, also known as complex versus simple carbs. Brown carbs, as we know, are whole grain, whole wheat carbohydrates. So they are, you know, it's like brown rice, brown bread, brown pasta, vegetables, high fiber fruits, oatmeal, you know, all the things that we know are good for you. Simple carbs, on the other hand, are things like white rice, white bread, white pasta, um, sugar, cereal, candy, you know, fizzy drinks, all of these things that contain lots of sugar that have been processed are referred to as your simple or white carbohydrates. Now, the pros of brown carbohydrates or complex carbohydrates, they are packed with fiber. The whole grain means that it's the entire grain itself, so they haven't milled or taken away anything from that grain. It contains fiber, which means it takes longer to digest, it, it also contains a high amount of iron and B vitamins and the slower digestion and slower release of the carbohydrate or the, the, the sugar, which carbohydrate is converted by the body into glycogen uh, and used in the same way as sugar. But because it's sl slowly digested due to the high fiber content, it releases the sugar slowly and gradually. What that means is you don't get the big kind of sugar spikes. Instead of the graph going up and then straight down and then you having that sugar crash, feeling hungry, even though you're actually not. It's just that your body thinks that it's had a sugar low, but in actual fact, you're, it's just gone back down to its normal level. Instead of the graph being like this, the graph is more like that. So it's just having slower releases of sugar over a longer period of time and you don't therefore have that sugar crash. It helps you curb your appetite. Um, you don't feel as hungry, you feel fuller, you feel more satisfied with the food that you've eaten and you tend to not then end up then feeling hungry and binge eating. The downside of um, whole wheat carbs is that if you are trying to put on some serious mass and you're trying to eat, um, they do fill you up more, they do keep you full longer, so you will struggle to therefore eat more food as a result of that. They're digested slower, which can mean that the body's digestive system has to work a bit harder, and you can end up with a bit of wind. So, so there's that downside. The simple carbs, or the simple sugars, the white carbs, the benefit of those is, is one, if you're bulking, it's very quickly digested and therefore you will feel hungrier sooner and you'll be able to eat more and you're still getting that big intake of carbohydrates without feeling full. So that's one of the benefits, especially if you're trying to bulk. Another benefit is there are times in the day when you want to spike your blood sugar levels. One is first thing in the morning when you've been in a fasted state for a long period of time so your first meal of the day should be a mixture of brown and white carbs. Uh, and the reason why is you want to eat the white carbs to spike your insulin and put your body into an anabolic state, i.e. to stop it from breaking down or using muscle for energy. Um, it may be deprived of glycogen and glucose, so your body will start to use other things uh, for, for energy. So it may start eating through muscle. So to prevent that from happening, you wanna have something for, for your first meal of the day, which is has got some kind of sugary carbs or some simple carbohydrates in it. And then you also wanna have some complex carbohydrates because you also want that slow release of energy over the course of the day, so you're not feeling hungry straight away. The only other time that you really and truly wanna have just pure, simple carbs, pure white carb is post-workout. You've, you've trained hard, You've used up all the stored glycogen in your liver and your muscles. Your body's craving um, carbohydrates and it's craving fuel. 
because you've just used it all up and it can turn to your muscles and uh, break those down. So to avoid that, you want to spike your insulin levels. Uh, insulin is a chemical which will help your body become um, a muscle building machine. So what you do is you have your, your simple sugars, your insulin goes up, and by insulin going up, it makes your body more responsive to absorbing proteins and nutrients and things like creatine. So, so that's one time when you really, really want to ensure that your meal is, majority of it should be simple carbs, white carbs. Your first meal of the day should have you know, 50% um, white carbs and your post-workout meal should have all 100% white carbs. All the other meals can be 100% complex carbs. And if you did it that way, that would be the optimum and ideal way to take in carbohydrates. Anyway, guys, that was a quick breakdown of the kind of benefits of complex and simple carbs or brown versus white carbs, when you should take them and why. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please continue to comment, like, share and subscribe. Keep living the life. Be the best version of yourself that you can be. And I'll see you next time.